Welcome back to Theme Park Spark. Please like and subscribe. Back in December 2012, my husband and I traveled from Los Angeles to Sydney, Australia to celebrate our fifth wedding anniversary. It was a bucket list trip for both of us, and we spent three wonderful weeks exploring Australia in the weeks leading up to Christmas. This year, in 2023, I decided to compile our photos and videos to relive the experience and share it with you. Be sure to check out my Australia playlist to see all of the videos. Today is the day that we went to the Great Barrier Reef. We traveled there through a company called Cruise Wit Sundays, and they had a complimentary shuttle that picked us up right at our hotel. We were staying at the Summit Apartments in Arley Beach, Australia. We picked up people at several other hotels, and then we drove to where we would board the ship. They usually use the ship called Sea Flight, but on this particular day, we rode on a boat called the Seahorse. One thing that they told us when we boarded the boat was to buy the motion sickness tablets. You could tell during the trip who bought the motion sickness tablets and who didn't. We bought them. We both get motion sick from cars, roller coasters, things like that on occasion. And we did not get motion sick at all on this very rocky, rough water trip from the shore to the Great Barrier Reef buy the motion sickness tablet. Some people who did not buy it did not feel so good during this trip. And you want to feel good during this trip. When we boarded the boat, it was tea time and they gave us cookies. They had coffee, water, and tea available. We sailed through the Wit Sundays and to the Great Barrier Reef. It took about 45 minutes to get to Hamilton Island and another two hours to get to the Great Barrier Reef. They also gave announcements and instructions for things like scuba diving, snorkeling, helicopter flight options, and other options once we got to the Great Barrier Reef. We arrived at some pontoons. It was called Reef World, and it's basically a bunch of pontoons. We got there around 11 in the morning, and we listened to the scuba dive uh, instructions because we were thinking about doing the scuba diving. In the end, we decided that Ryan, my husband, that he would do the scuba diving and I would do the helicopter ride because they both cost extra and I really wanted to do the helicopter and he really wanted to do scuba diving. We could have both done both, but this way it saved money a little bit and we got the entire experience and could watch each other's video afterwards. So Ryan got to go scuba diving and while he was doing that, I did a semi-submersible submarine ride around the reef. You won't want to miss my next video, which includes the entire ride with fun facts and information about the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is the most extensive reef system in the world. And I enjoyed the view from the sun deck. And I went to the underwater viewing area where I saw fish and sea turtles. And it was really, really cool. Then I did the helicopter tour and I got to see Heart Reef from the helicopter tour. It was my first time in a helicopter and it was a really good experience. It was fantastic and I would definitely recommend it. One thing that was really cool about the helicopter tour was that it was a four-seater helicopter with two seats in the front and two seats in the back. Obviously the pilot has to be in the front and then there was another couple that was going on the helicopter and they wanted to sit together so they both sat in the back which meant I got to sit in the front and I had the best view. Be sure to subscribe to see my upcoming video that includes the entire helicopter ride over the Great Barrier Reef. After the helicopter tour, we ate lunch. It was buffet style. It was all cold food, nothing super impressive. But you know what? I didn't go to the Great Barrier Reef for the food. I went there for the experience. They also had snorkeling that you could do. Everyone did snorkeling. That didn't cost extra. That was included. We were at the Great Barrier Reef at Reef World from around 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then there was an announcement to get back on the boat because we were going to head back to Arley Beach. There was also an option of taking the helicopter back for a discounted price, but we decided not to do that. We actually really liked the boat ride and we wanted to enjoy riding through the Sundays again. When we got back on the boat, it was tea time again. And this time there were nachos and brownies and tea and coffee and juice and things like that as well. It was just really a highlight of the trip. Obviously, the Great Barrier Reef is not to be missed, and I would highly recommend seeing it from the Arley Beach with Sundays area. It was around sunset when we got back to Arley Beach. We took some pictures because Arley Beach is gorgeous, and then we just went back to our hotel for dinner because that was a long day. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell because I have a lot more videos about Australia coming up, including visiting Hamilton Island and getting to see a baby koala. You don't want to miss that. See you next time.